Hello Sagittarius, I'm here to do a quickie love update for you. All right, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I've already meditated on your cards. I've already called in the divine for divine assistance. We're going to go ahead and get started for you, Sag. All right. What are the messages, please? What are the messages, please? I'm looking for very clear messages for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. All right. Well. All right, energy between you and your person. We have the Nine of Wands. Their energy is the Sun card. Your energy is the Devil. Let's continue, Sag. What are the messages, please? All right, we have the Two of Swords between the two of you. Your person has the Strength card, and you have the Death card. All right. And we have the Ace of Wands, something new coming in for you. Your person has the Six of Swords and you have the Queen of Wands. All right, so Sag, what I'm seeing here is it looks like there's just been, um, it's probably been a tough time between you and your person. All right, you've probably been dealing with a lot. I see that you've been dealing with a lot of negative energy. All right, things that made you make you feel unbalanced. All right, and you are trying to work on that to get yourself back into a better space. All right, now whatever it is that you've been going through, it has you know had a, a bit of an impact on your person, but your person is trying to remain positive. All right, they still want to you know go through the fire with you, even though it's been tough. Even though it's been tough, I see them you know trying to have the strength and courage to continue and stay in this. Now, right now, I see that you guys may not be talking or you may not be talking as much as you used to. And that's because whatever it is that you have been dealing with is caused some type of transformation to start taking place um, within you. Could be the way you, you do things, the way you think, um, the way you communicate. It could be anything, but there's definitely some form of change that's taking place uh, within you. All right. Now, in the near future, it's going to, you know, the universe is going to bring forth an opportunity for, you know, a new beginning, new ideas, new starts between you and your person. This person is still coming towards you. It's just that they want they want things to be calm. All right. They don't want any conflict. They're just waiting for things to kind of simmer down just a little bit. And you're still very passionate about them as well. You are. It's just, like I said, you have a lot on your mind, a lot on your plate that you've been dealing with. Yeah. So you've probably been just a little defensive in the way that you communicate, you know, with your person. And that's because you've been working on things in the background, trying to get whatever this was all straightened out. Now you're going to, you know, go back towards them. Or when they come towards you, you're going to be accepting because you're wanting to talk things out and work things out. You're going to be honest about what you've been dealing with. And, you know, the fact that you understand that, you know, maybe it's been a little tough, but you are trying to heal. All right. And you just need a little time. All right. So that's the conversation that I see you guys having here. Um, you know, you guys are going to be talking about coming back together because I see that you guys are not really talking here. You're going to have that conversation about how to, you know, reconcile and put things back into uh, a more happier place as it relates to, you know, the emotional connection that the two of you have, right? And so there's that offer again, you know, with wanting to have this new beginning, wanting it to be very solid. So, as it stands right now, you know, like I say, you guys are not necessarily not necessarily getting along well. Somebody is deeming themselves as single, which I feel like is you and, you know, your person has walked away from the connection or this could be something that's coming in the near future. Let's look. Yeah, I feel like this is the energy that you guys are in right now. But it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a coming back together. Right now, it's like you're wondering if, you know, just staying single is the right thing to do or if 
even accepting their cup or, you know, offering your cup to them is even worth it. You know, or if it was a missed opportunity. Ace of Cups wants to flip over. So I do feel like you guys are going to come back together. I do see um, victory here. And I do see someone being more stable in their emotions. I believe that's going to be you, Sag. And your person is going to follow their intuition, which is telling them that you're the one. And that's, that's why they're here trying to, you know, have the courage to stick around and have the faith. You see, have the faith here. It's like this person sees you as long term. Now, it did come out in the reverse, but this is just because things are rocky between the two of you now. All right. But this person still has this energy that they're holding on to. So what they're trying to do is get it in the upright, deepen in the connection. Also, the the ace of uh, cups fell out as well. So this person definitely loves you. They definitely see you as long term when it comes to this connection. All right. You definitely want to, you know, come back. We have the wheel cart just fell out of the deck. So things will be getting better. That wheel will be turning and it's going to be in your favor. Okay, Sag. You guys, never mind my background. I'm packing, I'm moving. You know, as a lot of you know, I travel for work. Um, I'm a nurse, and things have been getting kind of bad, so I haven't been able to do readings as often as I would like. All right. Please charge it to my head, not my heart. I think about you all all the time, but sometimes I have to, you know, heal lives in the physical as well. So let's see what the romance angels have to say for my Sagittarius. What are the messages? We have soulmate. All right, so, you know... We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. We did see that coming in. And we have free yourself. That's from whatever that toxic energy was that we seen with the devil card. Um, you're in that energy of freeing yourself, getting out of that, getting past that, whatever that uh, may have been. And we have very soon. So you're, you're just about to the end of that journey with getting yourself out of that negative energy. We also have love yourself first, since I looked at it at the bottom, you know, and that's what's kind of helping you to get out of that negative energy. And also you're, you're thinking about this time apart that you're having with your person, you know, and um, it doesn't feel so good. I believe that you guys do love one another. We have keep an open mind and we have engagement here. So, you know, I seen that with the faith card and this is just basically uh, the divine telling you to stay optimistic about it. Keep your keep an open mind. Things are not as bad as it seems. They're working in the background to kind of help you guys, you know, lead back to one another. OK, trouble does not last always. So that's what I have for you this week, Sag. If this resonates with you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future readings. If it did not resonate with you, uh, please watch your moon and rising sign. As well as check out some of the other fantastic readers here on YouTube. Um, Baba Jolie is one of my favorites. Please check her out. And um, we will see you at the next reading. Thanks for watching.